so I'm just gonna stay stood here. Let's go. Anyway. Hello everyone and a massive warm welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Kira. So today's video is a little bit of a different one for me. I rarely put up fashion orientated videos, sometimes you'll see haul videos, that kind of thing, but for today's video I'm actually going to be trying on all of my dresses or should I say all the dresses that I own which I would wear typically on like a girls night out, a bit of a session night out vibes, night out on the town kind of vibe, you know what I'm saying, how many times do I want to say that? Not like daytime casual or maxis, none of that kind of stuff, this is just girls night out vibe. Some of the dresses honestly I've had for years, like I do have a lot of timeless pieces so I'll definitely chat a bit more about those when I'm wearing them but yeah I have such a large variety, I'm just looking at them all laid out on my bed like wow this is going to take a long time, I'm actually probably going to get stressed out like trying on this many dresses, like my hair's going to be a mess, my makeup's probably going to be all over the place and not to mention I've just had half a pizza, you know I had, I say half a pizza, it was a very big pizza so it was basically a full pizza we're starting to film the video while she's breathing in anyway not the best time to film this but we're going for it so yeah that is the video i'm going to try on all my dresses if you do enjoy give it a massive thumbs up if you want to see more fashion styling videos that kind of thing do let me know comment below but yeah don't forget to subscribe i upload every monday and thursday turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified exactly when i upload and yeah join the family but enough of the rambling let's try on the first dress can she do it in some kind of strategic order maybe maybe we could go spaghetti strap work ourselves up i think i'm gonna do that on to dress number one Okay, now I'm actually really embarrassed because <laughs> look at my line. I was down in Brighton a few days ago. We're out of focus now. Where are we? There we are. I was down at the beach a few days ago and the sun was not forecast and I just had this lovely V mark. You can tell what kind of top I was wearing. My tan lines are absolutely horrendous. I actually feel a bit embarrassed. I did not think about that when I decided to film this this video today. So, give it a thumbs up if you think this is hilarious, okay? Because I actually do. This is just a gorgeous snake print cotton five pound PLT dress. A lot of the dresses you're gonna see at the start are actually PLT five pound dresses. I film quite a lot of videos trying out the PLT five pound dresses, but it's just the snake print design because everyone loves animal print. And at the back, it's just bodycon fitted most of my dresses vary between mostly size 8 but they go from size 6 up to size 10 so it really just depends I believe this one's a size 8 but this one is dress number one I'm rambling already we need to pick up the speed we need to cover this monstrosity anyway okay so on to dress number two I still can't take myself seriously if I can't you definitely can't but dress number two is incredibly see-through I am wearing a nude thong, so if you think you can see down below, you definitely can't. But it is another £5 dress from PLT. I've actually never worn this one. Ooh, my bum looks good in this. I'm just going to stay stood here. Let's go. Anyway, I did not realise it was that see-through. Like, what are you actually supposed to do? Maybe that's why I've never worn it. It's just a little khaki dress. £5. Bish bash bosh. As if I just said that. Anyway. Okay, another PLT £5 dress. I actually really like this dress. I've only worn this once. I will wear it again. Like, I have no shame in like wearing a dress again. We all kind of have, well, I say we all. A lot of people have that mentality of I need to get a new dress or outfit for every occasion. And it's not a good mentality to have. It's not a good way to be. Like You need to get clothes that are versatile and timeless. I, I'm not going to stop buying clothes because I love shopping. But as we all do, as lots of people do do but it's just about I don't know I just want to be a bit more I want my purchases to be a bit more thought out thought well about rather than just I need a new outfit for this or that you know what I mean anyway I'm rambling but I don't have any boobs and I actually still really enjoy the look of this it's low at the back and it's just got like the cross the, the thing at the at the top of the neck 
what am I even saying? You know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, anyone who doesn't have boobs and maybe you're a bit apprehensive about wearing these kind of dresses because I don't have any cleavage, anything like that. I used to have that mentality and now I'm just like, you know what? Just gotta flaunt what you have, <laughs> which is nothing for me, but I think this is really cute and it was five pounds, so yeah. Okay, so this is the next dress. I've actually already lost count. Is this dress number four? I think it's number four. Again, another little PLT five pound dress. I believe this is the last PLT five pound dress, which is more like a going out one for me. Um, it's just this red simple bodycon. Um, it's really plain at the back. You've just got the thin straps, whatever. It is very, very slim fit. Like I struggle to actually walk properly and this the legs they are glued together and this kind of is shaped very nicely with this dresses for me are quite hard to shop for because I'm five foot ten and I need to get the length like I tend to go for the midi kind of length because that just suits me better and if not they just get too short um, but I do like the length of this one I'm falling over it's all right so the next dress is actually probably one of my favourite dresses at the moment. I am yet to wear this one out because I actually got this at the beginning of the year and then obviously coronavirus happened and we've not been out for months. So this is definitely one of the dresses I am very, very excited to actually wear out. Um, I am actually going on a date this week and this would be the perfect dress. I think it's really flattering but... This is a lot, what can I do about that? Obviously, I've got a week, so maybe in a week, oh I don't know, I think I've just well and truly messed up there. Anyway, let's not think about that, but it's just a bodycon cowl neck dress. Now, I love a good cowl neck, and it's gonna be a bit of a running theme for me with these dresses. Quite a few of them I have earned or worn, whatever, have the cowl neck, because if you don't have boobs then it's just super super flattering and um, this dress is all ruched at the front it's from pretty little thing although it's not a five pound dress i think it was about 20 30 pounds um but it's a really nice length as well i could probably pull it down further if i wanted or pull it up a little bit it rides up rides down whatever really nice midi length and the back is just quite simple it has a little crossover there is the the tag there which because I've never worn it bit annoying it is a super nice dress I love it it's so incredibly comfortable and I just like how my chest is quite open because I'm quite broad so I feel like that actually is quite flattering just to I don't know embrace that and show that off I really like this dress so yeah on to the next one Okay, so we have the first dress, which isn't a PLT one. This one I got from Pink Boutique. They do really awesome dresses on there, if you've never shopped there before. But this one was, out of all the dresses I've got here, this one was the one I was like, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to get this on because it is so slim fitted. It's one of those ones that I'm actually probably not going to be able to get out of. Luckily, I'm not home alone because I would be stressing, but I was so determined to get it on. It is on and I actually love the colour. I love the dress. I think this is quite a timeless piece. The back is super plain. Like The back is literally just, you know, standard and down, like whatever. But I like the length. It is very tight, but the material is just so thick. It's really, really, it is comfy. Um, and in fact, in a way, it does kind of technically like pull you in actually at the side because it's that kind of material. It's a timeless one. It is certainly a timeless dress. Okay, this one is actually one of my favourite dresses in my wardrobe in terms of versatility, comfort, the general look of it. Um, so this is actually from Misguided. This is probably one of the only like short length dresses that I own that isn't too short on me. Obviously I'm 5 foot 10 as I keep saying. So it really is a struggle sometimes with dresses for me. But as you can see it has the cowl neck. This was the first dress I ever got with a cowl neck. The thin straps, it's fitted and I really like the back. It's kind of low at the back, slightly lower and it just cuts here. Like I like how it does that. I think it's really um, flattering. And I just think it's a really nice dress. Like I actually last wore this my birthday last year my 22nd birthday we went on a night out and i just threw this on with some trainers and um, obviously you know heels are great but on this particular night i was like give me the trainers and i i really like this dress it's one of those i know 
it will take a lot for me to get rid of because I just think it's such a cute comfy little dress but it's one of the few I've got actually from Misguided so love this Wow, this is a bit of a moment for me. I'm kind of covering the nipple area. In fact, do we want to free the nipple? I don't think it's too see-through. Okay, it is quite see-through. Basically, this is one of the first dresses. In fact, I think it may be the first dress I ever got off of PLT. I've got it in this black colour and then I also got it in the khaki as well. And it's just like a it looks, it looks tiny, but it's a really, really stretchy material. Um, and it's just completely ruched. It's a nice long length. Um, I liked it that much that I got it in khaki as well, but I'm not trying the khaki one on as well because these are both like size sixes. So although the material is nice and stretchy, it was still a mission to get it over my head. These kind of dresses, I don't think they ever really go out of style. And like, I do really like the high neck detail. I just like it on myself. Like, I, I like a good high neck, so I enjoy that. But the material is really soft. Um, I've literally had these dresses since I was 18. Crazy getting a bit emotional I'm joking I'm joking so I've got another pretty little thing yeah this is a pretty little thing it's probably one of the most basic dresses that I have to show you I guess it's similar to a few of the black ones I've already shown but there's no cowl neck it is just as is this is the length obviously I could probably pull it down a little bit further than it is now and the back is just really basic it's just a little spaghetti strap black little dress, a little black dress. Um, this is actually a size six, so I am buzzing that this fits. I haven't worn it in a long time, but it is, again, one of those just, it's a dress you can pull out, like, anytime. You know, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Super versatile. Everyone needs a, a plain little black dress in their wardrobe. I never really had proper thighs or hips or, like, a bum like this. So that is the area. It is super tight but I, I do like it it feels comfy enough definitely no desire to get rid of it anytime soon because it's just a little black dress like why the hell not I should literally buy shares in PLT like seriously honestly okay so this next dress I'm actually not really sure about it it's really random and I've never worn this I've had it nearly two years now it's a bit of a weird one because my mum got me this because my mum really liked it this is off pink boutique and the reason i kept it was because i was like "Ooh, that might be quite nice for a specific occasion not a night out kind of vibe but i don't know if a friend gets married like could i wear it to like a wedding reception or something but I'm actually not a fan particularly of this detail, like on the shoulders. I see it in my wardrobe and it's always one of those dresses I'm like, oh I'll wear it, oh I'll wear it, it'll come in handy at this point, oh I'll wear it, and I give it the benefit of the doubt every time, but although I do like the colour, I think it's a nice colour, so I'm just not a fan of this. I'd be interested to know what my mum Amanda thinks. Amanda, mum, comment below, do you still like this dress or not? What do we think? Obviously I would make sure it gets a lovely new home where it is used and worn and loved, but I just don't think I'm a massive fan. Like I don't hate it. I think, you know, with the right bag and heels and maybe like silver accessories, I guess you could go gold or silver because there's no like zip detail. Um, I don't really know what you could do with that. I'm just holding my pizza in my stomach right now, but I'm just not a massive fan. I'm just not enjoying this one. Very worthwhile filming this to find that out, but anyway. Okay, this one, I absolutely love it. Um, I'm getting my brother to zip up my dresses and he, as soon as I walked in, he was like, I love that one. I was like, I like this one too. Um, I've only ever wore this dress once and funnily enough, I got it two years ago. It's from Pink Boutique. Um, Pink Boutique dresses, by the way, the one I had on just then, the blue one, that was also Pink Boutique. The quality is amazing. It's pricier than PLT, generally pricier than Misguided, but the quality, I mean, this is thick. James actually said, is that a House of CB dress? I was like, no, this is literally Pink Boutique. Um, but I love this dress. It's just got this gold detailing, which is so nice. I actually feel like this is more in style maybe now than it was two years ago i don't know um and then the back is just um it's a little tight here do you see the bit at the bottom that kind of there's a little v split obviously just to give you a bit more movement but 
I really, really like this dress. The material is gorgeous. It kind of does suck you in there. And this is flattering, like, obviously on the waist. Um, I feel really nice in this. Like, I feel really smart. Um, definitely need to wear this more. Definitely want to wear this at some point. Maybe this summer. We'll see. Or at least when things go a bit more back to normal. But I love this dress. Like, I really love all this detailing. And uh, to be fair, this actually covers the horrible tan line. So... This one's a win-win. Very nice, very nice. So this dress I absolutely love. Um, it's not one that I would necessarily wear, to be fair, on like a night out or something. It's a lot more, I don't know, wedding -y fied I guess you could wear this out, but I mean the colour, the colour upsets me. I feel like I would spill like a Jaeger bomb on it or something. But this dress is from Kuss. It's actually coming up really bright on the camera, on the viewfinder. So I hope you can actually see the detailing. Maybe if I stand a bit closer, you can see it's kind of like um, a nude underneath, like the actual fabric is like a brownie creamy nude. Um, and then it's got this gorgeous white overlay on top. It's actually one of those really nice dresses that has the bit that kind of hangs over here, which is super flattering, obviously on the waist. And then it's just very figure hooded a really nice midi length this would be so cute to wear to some kind of wedding or I don't know some kind of event or if I had like a really nice job and I could wear nice dresses I would wear this dress I'm sorry I think it's so cute and the back is pretty basic it's got this bit that hangs all the way around to the zip in the middle it does have a nice zip in the middle if you've never heard of Coast, a lot of their stores have Sure, I believe they're all shut, but they do have the website online and they just do really gorgeous occasion wear, smart dresses, smart clothing for events, that kind of thing. And they do more casual attire as well, but the quality is amazing. This dress is probably the most expensive one I will have shown thus far. I think it cost over a hundred pounds um, because it was from Coast. Um, obviously when I worked there, I got a really good discount and a lot of my Coast dresses are actually back in Yorkshire. So this video doesn't even show all of it, but um, I really like this dress. It was one I wanted to keep with me at all times. Um, and it, again, it's just super, super timeless. And I am really noticing this line here now as well. Wow. Absolutely great for me. <laughs> okay, so we have the first bandeau dress I think I've shown. And I think this actually might be the only one I have in my wardrobe at the moment. And I'm actually, I'm really gutted that I didn't wear this, the Christmas just gone. Um, I don't think I really went anywhere to warrant this but for me this is such a valentine's or a christmassy number obviously with the red it's just bold vibrant i really like this i think it's super flattering i feel really really nice in it the back obviously is just plain it's the same as the front and um, it does have a little split at the back in the middle which is handy obviously just for a bit more movement but I, I do really like this obviously everything looks a bit lame at the moment because of the bad tan lines but just a nice little red dress you can't really go wrong with one of those in your wardrobe so that's all I've got to say on that pretty little thing it would have been nice and cheap and affordable size six size six I definitely haven't forgot this is in my wardrobe I know I have it but I've only worn this once so definitely need to get it back out of the wardrobe okay so now we're definitely getting onto the more it's going ever so slightly off night out vibe for me personally you guys might be watching this and you would love to wear this to a nice bar or something like that I guess you could but the dresses are getting a lot more fancy in my opinion this one was bought by my mum I know she really likes this dress so this one's for you, Amanda. I know you like this one. It's just a nice khaki green, completely lace front and back dress. It has like a khaki dress, like bodycon just underneath. Um, obviously they're together. Um, but I do like this dress. It's one of those, again, I've worn this once and it's not been brought out of the wardrobe. I definitely would wear it again. I can't remember where this is from. It's either Pink Boutique or maybe like ASOS. It is very smart, it's very formal, very formal. That's the word to kind of use, but I would probably wear it either with like a high pony. I feel like that would be a cute vibe or just the bun. I don't know, but this is another dress. I know I keep saying it, but I genuinely really love this dress as well. So this is from Pink Boutique. It's kind of, it looks quite plum, not plum. It's like, it's burgundy. It's like a 
burgundy, purpley, red, purpley dress. I'm not sure how it's appearing on camera, but it's got like these really nice mesh sleeves. The fabric is gorgeous. I love all this panel kind of detailing. Um, I haven't done the little hook and eye at the top. It would be like that. Um, but I love this dress. It's super comfortable. This is a size 8. Um, I also have the same style in the blue, which is also from Pink Boutique, although this one is a size 6. Um, I did try to put it over my head, but if you can see, the material is like a lace. I would need some assistance to pull it down. This is just the navy version. I've definitely worn both of these. I think I've worn this one twice, not in a long time. And that's the good thing, I'm trying on all these dresses and I'm like, I can just grab them back out the wardrobe and they're good as new, do you know what I mean? Hold on to those dresses everyone, because honestly, especially these ones that I think are quite timeless. I personally, Oh, get the hip action. I personally, what am I even talking about? I really like it. No bra needed. It's comfy. It's it's just really, really nice material, this one. I prefer this one to this one because mm, even the fabric at the bottom is slightly different. This is like the scuba kind of material. I think that's what it's called. This one's a bit more restricted and it's a size six, but I do really like those dresses. They're not going anywhere. Um, I really like this one. Okay, wow, we've really glammed up right now for this one. So this is one of the newest dresses in my collection. In fact, it may even be the newest one, I believe. Um, I got this back in March, again, right at the beginning of quarantine, of coronavirus. So I got it intending actually to wear this one in Barcelona, which I never ended up going, we never went. Um, this was what I was gonna take with me. I just fell in love with it. It's a pretty little thing. Um, it was really affordable. I think it might have been about between 20 and 30 pounds. I think maybe around the 30 pound mark. Um, but I just love these sleeves. I love this detail. I love the pattern. The back is just pretty simple. It's like a jacquard dress. You know, it's literally like jacquard. I think I just showed everyone my pants. This is a size 10 um, because my, that's the area I always struggle with is arms. Um, I've got not big upper arms, but obviously I guess compared to other people, I have like bigger upper arms. So does anyone else get that where it's just so tight here and you just literally, I mean, even in this one, there's not much movement there. Um, but this is quite, <laughs> this is all very loose because I had to get the 10 um, just for the arm, but it's very comfy, like I've got room, at least I've got room to eat in this because if not it wouldn't be one of those that, you know, gives that much with the fabric and everything. It's not the nicest, um, comfiest dress to wear, like the fabric's not that great, it's a little irritable, a little itchy, but it looks fab, so here we are. So this next one is actually very different to the red jacquard we just had on um not necessarily that fancy but i've had this i've had this for quite a few years about three four years now i think um this is from asos and i really like this dress but i can't help but think it doesn't fit me that well it's quite i don't know i have zipped it up as well is there a little bit more to not really and um, there's a lot of material but does it bother me that much i don't really know i don't think it does and um, i like this kind of style. It's the high neck that I enjoy. Um, it almost looks ever so slightly like oriental. It actually feels like my bum really nice. Up top it is a little big. I love the dress. I kind of wish it was like this. That for me changes the whole vibe rather than it being like that. But it's not always about things being fit, like fitted I guess. That was obviously the vibe four years ago I was going for. And now I actually think it's just quite a nice dress. A little bit slouchy but I think you can really dress this up or down. I think it's quite smart, actually. I really enjoy this. So, yeah, ASOS, you did quite well on this one. Okay, we're slowly but surely coming towards the end. So this one is one of my prized possessions. Well, it's not a prized possession, but it's one of my nicer dresses in my wardrobe. I literally hang it in this plastic and yeah, I'm very protective over it. This has been dry clean since I last wore it. I got this from House of CB. Blah, blah, blah. What? I got this from House of CB two years ago. So it was a wedding I went to two years ago. So summer 2018 in Portugal. And I got this dress to wear to the occasion. I think it's so stunning. I am a massive fan of House of CB. Um, I don't have a lot of their stuff at all, by no means. But 
I know like if I want a really really nice dress for an occasion really treating myself want to look really nice obviously for a wedding I was like I want to look in House of CB and it's a very pastel pale blue colour. Looks really nice with a tan but I did wear this abroad. Obviously not this kind of tan. I'm not sure what's going on there. So flattering on the old booty. I mean look I've got to give that a stroke. That I mean yeah she is impressed. She is enjoying herself but someone's got to have a they? <laughs> I really really like this dress. I don't know if you can see but it does have like lines across like at different intervals of the dress which I think is like really flattering very very simple and um, really nice long length so um, actually I'm five foot ten so I imagine it would be very very long on the average height person but I do love this dress I feel so nice in it it's one of my favorites and yeah definitely not getting rid of this one uh-uh not -uh. okay so I believe this is the last dress that I have to show you guys and I'm actually finishing on a really nice one again probably not everyone's cup of tea this one is actually from Mistress Rocks so it's House of CB's little sister brand I believe Mistress Rocks am I getting that right I've had this since like 2017 I got this so it's three years old I love this dress and now that I've put it back on I'm like wow I really like this dress. So it's got that cowl neck kind of detail, the thin straps, which cross over at the back, which is super flattering. It's all a bit ruched there. It's nice on the bootay. I like showing that off because I think that's one of my greatest assets. But anyway, it is like a velvet material. So if you don't like velvet, this one's not the one for you. But the thing is with this dress, there is a story with this dress. and. As I'm saying that, I know people who know the story are going to be like, wait, are you going to actually tell the full-on story? I'm not going to tell the full-on story, which I'm going to be annoying, but I actually broke this dress. I was on a night out. Let's just say things got a little, uh, things were happening and uh, the strap of my dress actually, I was literally walking around central London like this, holding, is it that side? It is, holding my dress like this because it tore off. Luckily Chanel, my best friend, you guys know her, shout out to Chanel, she actually sewed this back together. Um, obviously not, probably not the best. I mean it looks fine, I say that as if, is it gonna ping back up and when I go out? I doubt it, but, um, I, I'm, actually thank you Chanel, thank you Chanel for sewing this together, but um, I don't know how well that would hold. I've not worn it since, but I mean it feels pretty secure, but that is the story. We're gonna end the video here. I have to say, that is probably not everything. There's probably more dresses that I have forgotten about. Obviously, I didn't show you any like day dresses or, you know, a bit more casual dresses. I tended to go for like the night out vibe, getting on a bit more formal. But generally, they are my dresses. I have actually really enjoyed filming this video. It's taken me like a few hours, I feel like. But... I have enjoyed looking through my wardrobe and I have enjoyed kind of revisiting when I wore the different dresses and stuff. That's quite fun. It's just made me realise that actually I have such nice clothes and I should wear them more. I should definitely rotate more. As much as I love adding new dresses to my collection, it's nice buying timeless ones. Like timeless ones that, you know, you're going to love for year in, year out. You're going to love wearing them and sporting them and I definitely have a lot of those. So... This was really interesting and I hope you guys have enjoyed. It's very different from my channel. If you've made it this far, then shout out to you. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe for more weekly videos. As I said at the beginning, I upload every Monday and Thursday, so it would mean a lot if you could join the family, turn your post notifications on, because you don't want to miss a thing. I hope you all have a super amazing day. Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know which dress you really liked, if any. Maybe you didn't like any of them, but that's the amazing thing about fashion is that everyone's different and fashion is so varied I just love it again thank you for watching I hope you all have a super amazing day let's hope my tan lines disappear fingers crossed <laughs> but have a great day stay safe thanks for watching and I shall see you again very soon with a brand new video Mwah. bye